is Steph. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming an Etsy haul slash subscription reveal slash whoops bag collection thing. Um, I've got three shops to show you. First one is GP Sticky Studio. The second one is White Rose Planner Co. And the third is Washi Lane. Obviously I have opened all of these already. Um, I didn't put this one back in the plastic just because lazy. This one I actually got last week and didn't film and I decided I wanted to film it so I'm just covering the washi here with my hand and these ones I got a few weeks ago and I don't know why but I never sorted them into my sticker binders and I haven't been through them since I got them so we're going to go through these as well. So yeah, let's just jump straight in. I'm going to start with my grab bags from White Rose Planner Co. Um, so I got two oops bags, a glossy bag, and a matte bag. So I'll do the two oops bags first. And I have opened these, but as I said, I haven't gone through them in quite a while, so it's going to be a surprise to me as well what's in here. Ah, uh, yes, okay. So the first thing in this one are these little ballerinas and you can see the off cut there but it's not like awful like I could trim off the extra white from the other side let me see if I can focus a little bit more don't know if that made a difference but yeah I can cut off the extra and just have like really thin stickers so that's really cute then I have this matte uh, oh and these are matte as well I have a matte March set and this is just off cut you can see like yeah you can you can really sort of see the off cuts particularly on these ones down the bottom here like yeah but you know still all basically usable and I don't really use Bill stickers anyway so that's fine then this one is matte as well and I don't know if I think this is from a kit yeah, this is the functional sheet from a kit, but I don't know which kit. And the offcuts on this, I think they're just in the icons. Yeah. You can sort of see. Oh, I don't know if you can see because there's a really pastel, but yeah. And slight offcuts with nothing too major. The next one is this decorative sheet, which... Ah, uh, it stopped cutting. Okay, so these down the bottom here aren't cut out, and this one's only half cut. You can see there, it um, it's attached. So, it's kind of an odd thing for it to happen, but I guess, you know, okay. But that's, that's fine, I can cut those out myself. And then the last one is, this is from the Frozen Kit, I know that because I won it um, a previous time. The offcuts here, I think it might just be this scuff mark over here. Because I wouldn't say this was offcut. Or maybe the knife and fork a little slightly, I guess. But yeah. So that's that grab a bag. The second oops bag here. Oh, I got another one of these. I oh, want the same thing happened on this one. It didn't cut any of this out. And it almost cut all of this one. I don't know if you can see that there. Sort of, but... Yeah, but that's okay. Uh, then I got the March headers. These are off-cut, you can see quite clearly. There, but that's all right again still usable they're actually not very well cut either but that's all right then i got the they're both matte then i got this glossy set of to-do boxes which are visibly off cut but there would be a way around that i guess or if you wanted to use it in a personal planner you could just cut it down and just use these two rows or something yeah that'd be a There'd be a way to sort of work that out, I would say. 
because I wouldn't I wouldn't call them usable. Uh, then I got another one of that same set, and I think it like the color here went kind of funny, like down this whole thing. Otherwise, this one would be perfect. Yeah, it's just this strip of color. But again, like you know, that only comes into the cuts very, very simply, like almost nothing. So that's still usable. That's matte, and then I got a matte one of these, which is the um, ombre half ombre full boxes for the frozen kit, which is good because in my last oops bag one, I got a set of these that were completely unusable, and these ones are still usable. So I'm happy with that. So that's both my oops bags, and I've got my glossy bag here. So first up I have these little TVs, TV icons, they're a little bit grainy but that's okay, still usable. These weekend banners, I like these, it's just like a strip, it's really subtle, I like that. Some half boxes, this is nice because I have the full boxes for this. So I like those. These headers and little things from a kit, I don't know which kit. Um, it possibly matches, where's that decorative sheet? It might match this maybe? I'm not sure. But yes. And then this is from I think the Cinderella kit. And it's just the functional sheet from the Cinderella kit. So that's cool. And then the matte grab bag. Oh yay, okay, so I got some matte, this is all matte, um, the May Weekend Banners, I love this, I love it. Um, some, I'm going to say maybe March appointment labels, or maybe they're for the horizontal appointment labels. They're always really handy. Some more to-do boxes, which are cut nicely, so that's good. Some more headers are... Uh, this one, I think, is the one that goes with that sheet. Where did I just put it? Maybe this is the one that goes with this sheet. The colours seem to match a little bit better. But again, I don't, I have no idea. I've got not a clue. Um, but yes. And then these rescheduled stickers. I prefer to use clear ones of stuff like this, but they're always really handy to have. So. So that's everything from White Rose Planner Co. The next one I think I'm going to do is Washi Lane. And if I can find where the name of this box was written, I will um, write it on the screen. But yes. Ta-da! Oh, I love it. Okay, so this one's like... Bambi kind of inspired. So I'll start with the extras first. So this is the first extra and it's a sticker sheet called Bambi Friends and they're they're not 3D but they do pop up off the sheet that they're in. And they're just like woodland sort of creatures, some foxes, deers, um, there's a little woodpecker just there and one there, some geese, squirrel, a little raccoon here some rabbits little bear down the bottom he's so cute that was the first extra and then the second extra is in here and this is just the sticker that it was packaged with and I have obviously ripped it up um, but how pretty is this and then inside this little bag are more deer stickers so this is the first one. Let's see if I can focus on these really sharp. This one's just, a, it's just like a square. I think most of these are square. I don't think they cut out shapes. It's that one. And this one's glossy. This one is matte. This one is matte and it's a circle cut.
this one is matte and circle cut. Um, is that all for stickers? I think that's all for the stickers. And then this one is like a little business card type thing on the back. It's just got some writing there. And then this rabbit one is the same. And then this one is like a full page sticker because on the back, like this peels up. So it's like a full sticker, but it would be cute to just kind of like cut it on the line there, which I feel like probably was supposed to happen. Um, yeah, and then you've got two boxes, so that's really nice. And then there's this one, which... I want to say is like temporary tattoos. I don't think these are stickers. Let me see. Um, also, excuse my nails. I had them done until last night and uh, had to rip them all up. So, oh no, it's just a giant sticker. That's kind of cute. And it'd be nice to sort of cut it out in the pieces. Yeah, I really like that. So that's the extras. And then for the washi tape, oh, I've got some funny lighting going on here. Let me just relocate slightly. Okay, sorry about that. So I've got my five washi tapes here that it came with. Um, I have since tossed out the um, sheet that said what everything was. But um, if I can find them written down somewhere, or if I can find out from... Um, a friend who I know got this, I will write them. Um, I'm going to zoom you down. I'm just going to use a page in my hourly here to uh, roll them out. So this is the first one and it's like a foil kind of um, geometric -y web kind of pattern, which is super pretty. So, oh, this tape is super thin as well. This is heaven to peel up. So that's it there. How nice is that? And it is a foil. You you can tell like with the lighting here and how it moves and stuff. And to peel up. Oh, that's so nice. So, so, so nice. I love this tape. I feel like this is going to end up being a favourite. And I might actually go on the Washi, Washi Lane website. And if I can find this again, I'm going to get it. This is the second one. I think this is a Sakura tape sakura sakura it's it comes in, it came in a little box i think i might have tossed the box as well but it's like these cherry blossoms or i don't know if they are cherry blossoms but they remind me of cherry blossoms they remind me they're kind of like like i mean i can see why this tape was picked it was sort of to match with the flowers of the stickers you, you can see there but I love it. It's super, super pretty. Like, it's su just such a gorgeous tape. The washi line tapes are always so nice. I don't know where she gets them from, but I love them. And then this was the next one, which, again, is to sort of match the, um... Why are we not focusing now? Yeah, to match the um, pattern. It's just like a floral tape there. And then the other one that was sort of picked at random, I would just sort of say they, they go together because they're from the same brand, you can tell, um, is this one. It's just like these fun little like mushroom houses and stuff. Hang on. I'll put it down and I'll see if I can peel it up. So there you can kind of see like the little mushroom houses and stuff and the floral pattern. So I love those. 
they peel up, these peel up super nice as well. Like they just that like these peel up so much smoother than these two did, which is really good. And then oh the piece de resistance for this um for this kit and honestly I think this is gonna be my guilty pleasure washi. I'm never gonna use it. How stunning with these little deer. It's like a florally tape with the deers on it. How gorgeous is this? It's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. And if I keep rolling the tape, this is the last deer here. So it's this entire length is the pattern. Let me just zoom you out. This entire length here is the pattern before it starts again here. And it's just so, so, so beautiful. Again, peels up lovely. It's just such a good tape, like, and it's one of those ones, I mean, like, if I was going to do a deer spread, which now that I've got stickers and stuff, I probably will, um, maybe in my hourly I might do it, but it's just so pretty and I don't think I'm ever going to want to use it because, you know, it's just too, too pretty. I've never seen a tape like this either with this much detail in it. Like, look at the deer. It's so detailed. I've never seen a tape with this much detail on it before, so love it. And then, zooming back out, the last thing I have to share is my GP Sticker Studio June subscription, which is gorgeous. Ta-da! Oh, it's so gorgeous. Okay, so the first thing you get in here is the little sampler. I think Gabby includes one of these in every one. This is only my second mystery kit from her, and I really love it. Um, so just a little sampler. Um, I'm just going to flick through this, and I'm going to link Gabby's video below where, like, she goes into detail of it and stuff, and she plans with it as well. So I'm going to link that video below so you can go and check it out there. But I'm going to flick through everything. So the sampler... Date covers, these are really nice too. Gabby's paper is a vinyl as well, so it smells amazing. Like, oh, I love it. So the date covers, this was just a little extra. I don't know if she cut this or if she bought it, but it's like a, you can see, it's like a glossy rose gold copper glittery kind of um, material and it's got some large page flags, small page flags, hexagons and circles, some like banner flags and little triangles. I love this. Then this one, checklist, half box checklist, sidebar, trackers, different shapes, appointment labels, boxes, whatever. This one has some headers, appointment boxes, flags, icons, more flags, weekend banner, all that kind of stuff. The full boxes. Full box checklist. Half boxes with some more appointment labels. These are gorgeous, just these little hints of the flags and stuff. It's gorgeous. More headers and little things. And washi. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below what you think of the GP Sticker Studio subscription. I would love to know. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I am trying my best, despite all the issues that I've had recently, to get my... Um, filming, editing, uploading, like my YouTube schedule in a nutshell back up to its full potential so please subscribe to um, keep up 
Don't forget to check out my previous two videos this week. I did a really fun baby name tag and also um, just a where have I been update for those of you who have been around and know that I have been gone. Don't forget to open up that description box for all the links and don't forget to check out Gabby's video after you finish watching this one and I'll catch you all in my next one. Bye!